Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualknife.com. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily create a curtain from just using a simple plane with some modifiers attached to it and the end result will look something similar like this. Okay, let's get started here. I'm, um, I'm in the front view currently and I'm going to draw this plane here. Okay, that's really neat. Um, I'm using 12 length segments and 40 width segments, which is going to give a well, well a satisfying result for me at least. But you can always tune the, this up a little bit higher. I'm going to change to perspective view here. That we have a better look what the curtain is going to look like. And convert your plane to an editable poly. Once you've done that, go to your modifier list and click on Mesh Select. Go to the sub-level of Mesh Select and click on Vertex. Select the vertices that I'm currently selecting. Oop, those blue ones included. Yep. And make sure those top three layers of vertices are not selected. Go to your modifier list and click on Wave, which applies the Wave modifier to the currently selected vertices. And we're going to play a little bit with those wave modifier values. Set your amplitude to 2, your amplitude to, to 1, and your wave length to 40. Your phase to 0 0.8. As you can see, if we turn around, we can see that the waves are applied in a horizontal way. And we don't want that because curtains have a vertical wave. Click on the sub-level of Wave and click on Gizmo. Go to your front view and then change, turn that, um, that Gizmo around. So that's just turn it 45 degrees like that. And as you can see, our curtain has, a more, has more waves attached to it. And this is something really important. Scale down your Gizmo and move it up. I know it look, doesn't look good at the moment, but we'll change that soon enough. Now that we've done that, I'm going to draw this a little bit back. Like that. As you can see, we have a curtain already forming at the base of our curtain. That's right, okay. Now that we've done that, click once again on the modifier list, and this time add a noise modifier. And also with the noise modifier, just play a little bit with those values and try to create a effect you really like. I suggest turning on fractal here and then changing the values that are visible here. If you change the Y, you can see that the curtain drapes are sometimes longer and sometimes are a bit shorter. This gives a more natural, well, not really natural, but a more uh, random effect inside your curtain like that, okay. Now we're going to add the upper part of the uh, of the curtain here and we're going to the modifier list again and once again click on mesh select go to, oh, damn it, make sure you have noise selected first, not wave, otherwise the mesh select is being applied on the wave and we don't want that, it has to be on the top of the hierarchy here. Select vertex and this time select all the upper vertices. Once again add a wave modifier and play a little bit with that as well that might be too much set this to 2 oh, I 2, I said changes to 40 1, DK gives it a little bit more randomness to the waves of the curtain as you can see here here it's more close and here it's more uh, wider alright and like before we have to change the gizmo again because we are having the waves in the wrong direction, we don't want that like that. And yeah, as you can see, uh, we're having a bit of a shortage on waves here in the, in the upper curtain, so we need to add a little bit of that. And that's that's right, that's right, that's that's good like that. All right, we're going to add the noise modifier one more time and. 
once again play a little bit with those values here. Two, five, see what it does, and just start playing around. Oh, well, that's too much, way too much. You can use the noise modifier to give some depth in your curtain. Do that back again with this one. Three to max allows me to. Yeah, a little bit too much, but we just want a little bit of depth creating this way. Uh, it's not the final result yet, but it already gives a nice start of demodeling. Alright. Go to the top again, have noise selected. And once again, we're going for a mesh select. Alright. This time, select all the vertices. Go to your modifier list and select FFD box. Now what this does is it's adding a second um, editing system around our plane, which easily manipulates multiple vertices at a time. We can adjust the number of uh, dimensions. Okay, well, let's change this to four. And we only need two here. That's correct. Like that. And, well, now it's just a matter of playing a little bit. It's not really a technique I can say, wow, well, you you need to do that this way. Just go to your control point, which is a sub-level of the FDD box, and just start fooling around with shrinking the levels a little bit, and then moving them again in a direction. And you just want to try this a couple with uh, multiple selections at a time, shrinking or just moving them first from left to right and different uh, well, different levels. I can show you later on what this does. Move that up a little bit. Now you might wonder when, well, is this a is this a good way of modeling a curtain? Um, I don't know. I really don't know if this is the best way. Probably not, but it's a way, and it shows you how to use the wave mesh select and noise modifiers at one object at a time. And to give it a little bit more depth, we're going to just randomly move some of them forwards and then backwards again. Here's some moves over there forward. But keep playing with that. Sometimes it can give real ugly results, but sometimes you can get real nice results like you've seen in the picture before in 3D Max. You can uh, download the finished curtain uh, from Visual Night Suck. I skipped ahead a little bit, and as you can see, I've tweaked uh, the curtain till it was just the way I wanted. The real advantage of using a uh, a mesh select is that you can always go back using the uh, the waves you've used, the wave modifiers and the noise modifiers. When you're just using a a simple uh, add noise or add wave on just the editable poly alone without using mesh select, you can have problems like you can go back and you are going to destroy the hierarchy of of all the uh, modifiers you've added. So try to use this way and you will see that it really improves your modeling skill. Well, and that's about it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something from this modeling tutorial. You can, once again, you can download this end result from our website, visualnights.com. If you have any questions about it, just ask via our website or just ask on YouTube. And I hope to see you again. Goodbye.